This is a time when our experience, our quintessential direction of our age is in space. We're looking at space as the next global economic engine. You can contribute. The opportunities for space exploration, commercialization, and discovery are endless. Uh, we have this critical juncture where we have been doing laps around the planet, and now we have the systems through SLS, Orion, and what we're providing in the human landing system to go back to the moon this time to stay. While so many facets of our lives have been negatively impacted, one element has stayed the course, our space economy. It's not only been resilient, it's actually gained momentum. You know, I often say that in many ways we are in kind of a golden age of space, but also a golden age of data. What we need is to invest and to innovate so that we can really gain the value that's all out there for us on the final frontier. The world of space is right in front of us. The curiosity and the participation to follow has to be ignited, so to speak, by the questions that everybody wants to know and, and by, the, by the opportunities everybody wants to have. We're in this moment between challenges that are bigger than our brains, but with capacities that are in some ways bigger than our brains, just in terms of the, the scope of what we, can, what we can do. The bulk of innovation comes from small companies. We need small companies, and I very much want to go beyond our traditional defense industrial base. We're all in these small companies in an ecosystem that is just exploding with people out there trying to help solve the problem and to try to figure out together how we can change the world. How do you get access to a space for as many small, generally underprivileged payloads as possible? that causes you to be creative, and it causes you to build partnerships. I'm noticing more and more ways that we're seeing collaboration and a common sense of mission. A large portion of the space community is gonna be looking to all of you because your experiments and your payloads represent some of the most exciting things that we've got going on here over the next few years. What good is knowledge or anything that you do if you don't share with other people? And the space industry is not only wonderful, fascinating, and unique, it also showcases that it's for everyone and talking to our students. They really want to change the world. They want to have a positive impact. They want to contribute to social good. They just don't want to be sort of geeks in the background. I want to hear the future of space industry um, from different perspectives. And I also want to share my ideas as a young aerospace engineer. I want to use what I learned at Ascend to engage with AIAA and encourage diverse groups to participate in the aerospace community. My vision for my future career in aerospace is to be involved with a project that not only challenges me to think critically, but also allows me to be creative in the process. Maybe your purpose on this planet isn't on this planet. Space is hard. It's not necessarily an easy place. Please study business in addition to science. When you put them both together, uh, there's nothing more rewarding than a successful space. You can do it and don't ever think you can't. We need every single person out there to solve the problems that we have in front of us. We share a vision for humanity that transcends our planet. And together, 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 we ascend. I'm a little bit like the people I met in Texas when they said they weren't born there, but they got there as fast as they could. You know, space is a little bit that way. I wasn't born here, but I got here as fast as I could. And it is awesome.